everybody, Supersonic Fan 115 here, and today, oh my god, today's the best day of my life, because finally, after all these years, I've finally gotten my childhood TMNT 2012 figures. Oh my freaking god. I just want to thank my bro, Sonic Plus Universe, my guy, for literally wasting $50 on Walmart and literally bought me literally a, a, an entire six pack collection featuring the OG Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello figures, and the OG Splinter and the OG Shredder. Like that is that is so cool. That, that I I really appreciate it, man. Th thank you so much, bro. This means so much to me. I've been, I'm like so happy right now because like I never thought it's on it feels so unreal right now because I never thought I would ever get these figures ever again. I never thought I'd ever get these figures back into my life like ever. But uh, thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate you so much for doing this for me man i really appreciate it man thank you so much man you're the best so guys please subscribe to his channel please support him he is awesome man you are the best brother ever man thank you so much bro like seriously you mean the world to me man thank you so much oh my gosh but yeah as you can see guys it says tmnt 2012 for turtle figure six pack collection so yeah, but anyways, yeah, just subscribe to his channel. Please support him. He's awesome for really doing this for me. Just thank you so much, man. And without any further ado, let's unbox this bad boy. So, I I mean, originally it was, it was in a box, but I just opened it because I knew it was going to be a box within a box. So I was like, eh, I'm just going to open it. And, um, yeah, this is like a cover slip. I'm just going to remove this. And, ooh, check this out, dude. The entire box is shaped in art and, and, and has it, the entire box is shaped like the shell razor. That is so freaking cool. Look at this. The back of the shell razor. Oh, man. I used to have the shell razor back then when I was a kid, man. I, I'm not even joking. I used to actually have the actual toy shell razor and it was it looked just like this, but except not an actual box. It was actually the actual toy of it. Man, I used to have that, bro, but I lost it a long time ago, bro. I miss it, but it's still good to see it like a, like a box replica of it. It's really cool. And here's Raph in the front. That looks sick. Mikey over here. And who's up top? Oh, of course. Um, Donnie's over here. That's awesome. And of course, you got your, my boy. You got, you got your boy Leonardo right over here in the back. I think this is supposed to be the front, actually. I think this is, I think this is the front of the... Oh, yeah. I think it is because it says... Um, uh, yeah, it says the warning labels, and then it says the Playmates logo right there. This is interesting. All right, let's see what it says on the bottom. Ooh, okay, this looks sick. All right, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 collection. Yeah, see you guys. It comes with the OG Leonardo, OG Donatello, OG Michelangelo, and OG Raphael. These were like the first versions of the 2012 figures that were made. And then you got the original Splinter figure and the original Shredder. Oh my god, I can't wait to actually look at these guys in their boxes, man. Yo, oh my god. If you guys are excited to, for me to actually look at these um, figures and actually unbox them after like so many years, then please drop a like. And again, one last time, please just subscribe to my boy Sonic Push Universe. None of this would ever happen if it wasn't for him, man. Thank you so much, bro. You have made me so happy, and you've helped me fulfill my childhood, and I can't thank you enough, my guy. Thank you. Now, then, now, without any further ado, let's unbox these boys. Let's get it. All right, here we go. So, there's a little flap right here. I'm just going to, like, pull back this, and um, it'll open up. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm just going to open it up. Hey, hold up. Look at that. You see? There's the three figures. All righty. Let's pull out one of them. Let's see which is going to be our first figure we look at today. All right, let me move it back. I'm going to go reach for one of them. All right, I'm reaching for one of them. Let's see who it'll be. Ah, yes! Hey, Leonardo! Hey, look at that. It's my boy. Look at your boy. Oh, look at, look at that. It's Leo, bro. The OG Leonardo figure. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm holding this right now, dude. Oh my god, bro. I remember so many years ago. I remember buying this from a freaking store. I don't remember what. It was probably Toys R Us or maybe Target. I don't remember, but like, oh my god, bro. 
Oh, the nostalgic feel holding this in my hands, dude. Bro, this makes me so freaking happy, man. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful sight to see, man. This is so awesome. And then here's his character description. It says, Leonardo, leader and king of the Katana Blades. Or Katana Swords, sorry. Man, that's a nice, a nice, neat way to describe Leo. Anyways, he says, hardworking and honorable and respectful. Leonardo is the turtle's fearless leader, driven to be the perfect hero. Leo's inexperience and often rowdy brother sometimes gets in the way of his goal. <laughs> yeah, true, true. That's true in the show. They really don't listen to him and they don't really follow his orders that much. But eventually they uh, get along. So yeah, the weapons, Rain Knight Ryu, double katana blades or swords. I keep calling them blades, I don't know why. And uh, the Team Ninja Turtles, that's, that's cool. I can tell this is sort of re-released because I don't know, back then it had like a turtle symbol right here and it doesn't have that here, so I can tell it's re-released. But look at that, see? Look at, look, look, uh, look for more turtle figures. These are all the figures that I have in this set, which is awesome. Let's look at Leo, man. You got, you got his katana blade swords right there, and you got some more weapons back there, some shurikens and some other knives. That's cool, and this is neat. Yeah, it says Leonardo, leader, king of the katana of swords and stuff. But that's awesome, man. All right. That's Leo checked out and, ex and spectated. So let's see who else is in the, the next box. Ooh, here we got the jokester Michelangelo. Here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. It says Michelangelo, jokester, and hard-hitting nunchuck hero. <laughs> that's a nice way to describe him. But, yeah, here's Mikey. I turn him around. Yeah, here's Mikey. He's a, it's a funny artwork of him. That's cool. And, um... And it says, impulse, creative, and very social. Michelangelo is the heart and soul of the Ninja Turtles. The runt of the litter. He may be the smallest of his mutant brothers, but that doesn't make him the weakest. Just harder to catch. Enemies beware. Michelangelo is is a master of the... Car I don't know how to say that. Nunchuck with a secret and sharp surprise. <laughs> Yep, I mean, he is the master of the nunchucks, so yeah, you got funny artwork of him, as I said, and yeah, he's on Ninja Turtles, but yeah, let's look at them all together, dude, look at them all closed together, it looks really nice, again, I can't believe I'm holding these figures right now, it feels so unreal, but it, it, it hits me, holding this one throws me back with so much nostalgia, but this is my first time owning the rest of the figures because I this was the only like figure from like this whole wave that I ever owned as a child I never owned like any of the posable turtles because again like the, the, the figures I grew up with hold on let me get them right now okay so yeah the figures that I grew up with were these these were like the talking sound effects um, lead, um turtle figures these were the ones I grew up with. I sadly lost Donnie. I had a Donnie on Talking Son of a Trigger, but I lost him. So these were the only two I've, uh, that uh, survived my childhood and are still here with me to this day. So yeah, I just wanted to show those guys off. But these, but this is my first ever posable Mikey figure. Like I've never had an articulated Mikey figure before, so this is my first one. And man, he looks awesome. Cause this, like, this is the only Mikey figure I've had for my entire childhood. I mean, it, it's cool, but. Not as cool as uh, like the posable ones. But anyways, let's continue. All right, I'm going to pull out the next one. Ooh, look who we have here. We got Splinter. Honorable Sensei of the Ninja Turtles. Yo, that is awesome. Look at him, bro. Look at Splinter. Look at your boy Splinter, dude. Oh my god, yes. It feels so good to have this Splinter figure. I used to have another Splinter figure when I was a kid. I used to have the Dojo Splinter figure. Yeah, it was, a, it was like a Splinter variant figure that was really never in the show, but they decided to make him anyways, and uh, I had it. That was like the first Splinter figure I ever had, so... But sadly, I lost it, so now this is my second Splinter figure I've had in my life now. So, wow, this is awesome, though. Like, look at that. It comes with his, like little like emerald like staff from like the show which is really cool i love that man that is so cool and you got some cool artwork of a splinter right there so he says splinter honorable sensei of the ninja turtles protective and precise splinter is an unmatched ninja master with a playful and deep spirit that probably comes in handy 
raising his mutant sons, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. Once a human known as Hamado Yoshi, Splinter continues his tradition of teaching ninjutsu and fighting the evil Foot Clan. Uh, he says, weapons, hands, feet, tail, walking staff, anything and everything. <laughs> this man, this man can just use his whole body as a weapon. And, yeah, Team Ninja Turtles, of course. So, yeah, that's three, so... We still got three more figures to inspect, but there's Splinter, everybody. Not a bad figure. He looks pretty good. I can't wait to open these guys up and actually inspect them and, oh shoot, and review them. So, yeah, but anyways, let's keep going. Still got three more left. All right, who's else? who else is next? Ooh, yes, we got my boy Raphael. Nice. Raphael, hothead and sharp side expert. Yes, bro. Look at him. He looks so cool. I'd say this is like my favorite looking figure out of all, in my, my opinion. Raph just looks more, the more, like, more cooler. Like, look at this, he comes with his side. I think he has, a, I think he has, like, other size in there, I think. Other weapons, maybe? I don't know what they are, but they look like half size or something from the angle I'm looking at him in. But, anyways, yeah, but he has his double size. And overall, he looks really cool. I can't wait to actually check these guys out looks really nice I love the paint see the paint's not bad at all it's pretty cool and if you look on the back here he is my boy Raph Raphael hothead and sharp oh yeah it's almost the same I, I just read that but whatever anyways let's read his character description it says tough quick to act and hot tempered Raphael's a powder keg ready to explode on unsuspecting enemies everywhere the biggest of his mutant brothers Alright, Raphael has a why sneak around when you can bash some heads instead attitude. Master of the twin size. These three prolonged blades are the perfect reflection of the owner of their owner, sharp to the point. <laughs> cool, cool, cool uh, little character description for the guy. Weapon, size, and teaming terms. Nice! Man, my boy Raph has never looked better. I mean, comparing him to this uh, talking sound effect Raph. Uh, I think this one is just just looks better. I like it. It's more charming, you know. I mean, sure, this one looks a little bit. Sh well, it doesn't really look that show accurate. Neither does this one, but hey, I prefer this one. This one's better. Plus, it's posable, so you know, I'm into this one. So, yeah, we got um, that one out of the way. So we still got two more figures left. So yeah, we've covered four figures so far, which is good. So now we only have two left. So let's go reach in and see if i'll get either donnie or shredder all right let's see oh oh boy hold on this one's a little bit stuck all right let's see who we get let's see who it is and yes i got donnie let's go i chose right let's get it all right so here's donatello yo he looks really awesome look at that he's got his bow staff he's got some extra weapons there and overall he looks really nice so it says donatello inventor and weapon year Ooh. i mean he's they i mean they're not wrong he builds weapons he creates useful gadgets to help him and his brothers so it's kind of true and here we go on the back it says donatello is detail oriented donatello may have the uh, maybe the only mutant turtle that doesn't mind a little in time and in indoors after all, where would the ninja team be without his incredible battle creations? From the shell razor to the robot metalhead, Donatello's mind is just as sharp as the blade of the Neglenta bow staff. I hope I said that right. So uh, it says Neglenta six foot bow staff with blade. Ninja Turtles. Wait, it comes with a blade? So wait, there's another bow staff that comes with a blade? Wait, for real? Hmm, that might be interesting to check that out when I uh, open them up. Wow, this is really, really nice, man. I, I dig this. This is really cool. Holy moly. So, yeah, that's pretty much all four of the turtles and um, Splinter all looked at. So, now we have the last but not least, the main villain and the powerfulest and pretty much deadliest foe from the TMNT 2012, 2012 series. Yep, it is Shredder. He is oh my god yo yo guys look at him he looks sick oh my god 
Shredder, deadly leader of the Foot Clan. Oh my god, yes. Finally, the, I finally have my first Shredder figure. Let's go, dude. He looks so awesome. Like, wow. Comes with a katana blade, two shurikens, and that's really it. But that's really cool, man. Look at Shredder. He looks so badass. I mean, like, the paint on the eyes looks pretty cheap. Not gonna lie. But honestly, I, I, I honestly prefer, like, the the Wave 2, I think. Yeah, the Wave 2 Shredder. Because he actually has, like, a cape and everything. And you can actually remove his like, helmet off and all that stuff. And he actually has his blades coming out. But the Shredder's alright. He's decent. I'm happy either way. I'm glad that I got the Shredder. So anyways, let's look on the back. So here we got Shredder. Deadly leader of the Foot Clan. Cruel. I mean, okay. He's, I might, no, hold on. Let me rephrase that. Cold, cunning, and cruel. Shredder is the turtle's hateful arch enemy. Willing to go to any lengths to destroy them and their rat sensei. Splinter. With the Foot Clan and his shredding army. There is little the Shredder can't do. Turtles beware. Hmm, interesting. That was, their, that was their slogan back in the day. Turtles beware. Oh, man, I remember that slogan, man. That was so cool back in the day. Anyways, forbidden ninja techniques and ra razor sharp armor. And Team Foot Clan. So, yeah, we only have one bad guy in this six pack and, six good, and five other good guys. So, But, I mean, that's sort of fine by me. And that's pretty much it. We, that's pretty much um, all the figures that come in this little six pack. But, my God, man, this six pack... All the figures is just amazing. Like, let, let's let's just line them all up. All right, let's just line them all up here. Because my God, this is this is incredible. This is so this feels so unreal. I never thought I'd ever get any of these. Like it's it's unreal. It's honestly amazing to see that I have all six of these figures. It's such a wonderful sight to see, man. To think I just went from just having figures like these for my childhood and now for the rest of my life i have these all these figures in my collection now bro it's so beautiful to see all of these man just thank you so much alex slash sonic Machine universe thank you so much for making this all possible for me bro just thank you man this is, this is wonderful man this is more wholesome than the time you gave me the battle shell leo figure because you just gave me the entire like wave one set from like the OG TMNT 2012 figure line which is mind blowing and this whole set costed only $50 like oh my gosh this is just so unreal but so beautiful to see this man I can't believe that all of this is happening but it is and I'm really happy it is cause this is something I never thought would ever happen. Like, I never thought I'd ever get all these figures ever in my life because I thought they were outdated, they were old. I thought they were never going to make them again because they were super old and that the show's also dead, so it's not really going on air, not going on air anymore. So I kind of thought that, you know, making these figures again was just hopeless. But wow, the fact that they actually re-released their figures because their show was turning 10 years old was just genius best idea they've ever had but wow man i'm so happy i have these figures so i guess i'll do a jump cut for where they're all opened up and i'll guess i'll show you all their accessories so what i think i'm gonna do is that like i'm gonna open them but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna keep like the backs of the back of like the boxes i'm just gonna keep those just so i can remember that i had these mint in box so that's what I'm really going to do. Because I actually want to play with these guys. Because it's just something I've never got to do as a child. And I kind of just want to. Because it'll make me feel like a kid again. So why not? So anyways, I'll jump cut to when I unbox all of these. This is going to take a while to unbox all of these. But hey, I don't care. I'm doing it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Peace. Alright guys, I'm back with the figures. I've unboxed all of them. They're all in the, this freaking box. I unboxed them all already. It took me about an hour to unbox all of them and get all their accessories out and crap. But here's all the figures that uh, came with the set. And I love all of them. They're really good. I love Raph. Raph looks really good. I love his size. And what, and also another thing that I, that I just realized is that these re-released ones, 
they actually their their feet are actually in are accurate to uh, the show. When I looked at the box art, like hold on, let me just uh, get one of the things right here. Cause look, see if you look at this, see their um their toes look different, which is weird. But like if you look at the figures here, yeah, see they look more in show accurate. Like they look more show accurate to their counterparts in the show, which is good. I actually like that that their feet are much more slimmer and not so big and fat, you know? They're a lot more slimmer, you know? That's pretty good. And uh, here's the Splinter figure. Comes with his little staff thing. He looks really good, though. I don't understand. Well, there are very limited things you can really do. Like, his, his movement is sort of limited. So you, you can't really pose this guy mu much. You can still play with him, but, like, you know, you can't really pose him that well. He's kind of limited in terms of posing, so, yeah. And then, um, yeah, here's this Leo. Yo, looks really good. His two katanas look sick. And I love his design. It's overall pretty good. It's overall pretty well. And here's Donnie. Donnie looks really good. Yeah, he got his uh, cool little bow staff. I like his um, expression. Leo's expression is weird, but... But bizarre, but it's fine. And uh, here's Mikey's expression. Pretty decent. And his body type is pretty good, like his uh, whole body sculpt and everything. And here's his nunchucks. Same sound back there. It's pretty good. And then you got Raphael, my boy right here, my boy Raph. Look at him, he's pretty sick. Yeah, as I said, his legs are slim, kind of like the others. And yeah, here's the back of him. Here's his size. Pretty sick. My boy Raph's looking cool. And his facial expression suits him well. It's supposed to be a hot-headed, angry turtle, so that pretty much suits him well. So, <laughs> yeah, we got Raph, Mikey, Donnie, and Leo. And uh, now we're gonna move on to the Shredder figure. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of a bit disappointed with the Shredder figure because I actually thought it had knee joints, but it does not. You can only move this leg back and forth, and that's it. It does not have any knee joints. It has it has wrist joints on its arm and everything. You can move its arm in many poses as you want, but its legs, nope, no wrist joints at all. No leg joints or anything like 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 the turtles. You can like move their legs freely and do whatever you want with them. But Shredder, no, you can't. You can barely do shit with Shredder. And I'm kind of a bit disappointed at that. I was expecting to put this guy in some cool poses, but I guess not. I could put him in some, but not much in terms of legs posing. It's not much. I can probably understand why the Shredder from like the Wave 2 was better. Cause the, the, sh the other Shredder figure where you can actually take off his helmet and it actually shows his blades sticking out from his hands. Honestly, I think that was like, that, that figure's better, but I don't know if I'll ever get it. I hope to get it one day, but... I'm happy with the Shredder though. He's he's cool though. The Shredder's all right. In terms of his design, he's pretty good. The sword's cool. I can still put him in some decent poses. I mean, I'm still gonna have fun pl playing with this guy and such, but he's still pretty good. He's still pretty good. And Master Splinter sculpt, eh, it's a decent, I guess. It's not the best, and his face isn't really the best either. But I really don't care. I mean, like, they tried to make these figures as accurate to the show as possible, and I commend them for that. They look really good. They're very charming and very, very great figures. I mean, I love these figures so much. They were from my childhood, and again, I never thought I'd ever have these, so I would just like to thank my bro Sonicless Universe one last time for making this happen. I really appreciate it, bro. Like, just thank you so much for all of this. Thank you, man. You're the best, bro. Thank you. So I think that's going to cut it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this entire unboxing slash review on, on all these um, six figures. <laughs> so, yeah. One last time, subscribe to my boy Sonic Plus Universe. He's an, he's an awesome guy. I'm just really happy he did this for me. So anyways, guys, please sure to, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to tap the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new videos, alright? Tap that notification bell, alright? Because you guys don't want to miss out on any banger vids I'm going to be making soon. And we're also halfway there to 10,000 subscribers. Keep the keep the keep it going, guys. Keep the keep up the great work, guys. You guys have been showing me so much love and support, and I appreciate it. So keep that support going. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all I really gotta say. 
subscribe for more and subscribe to sonic Force universe and i'll see you guys next time peace out and thank you for watching peace